G'day guys, welcome back to the Hunter Down Under. In today's video we're going to be heading out on Yukon and just having a bit of fun with the new weapons. Or well, a couple of the new weapons are actually mainly got the new sort of AR weapon pack plus the um, pistol. So <coughs> we might have a crack at a couple of these. Um, uh, caribou. Well, set up on this caribou here. Looks like we're gonna have to actually try and go reasonably quickly, but I think we got most of the males out of that herd, and then got him too. So, obviously, with all ARs and semi automatic weapons, we're going to be killing a lot of animals hopefully in a reasonably short time today and sort of see how we go it looks like we're going to be going for caribou to start off and then wouldn't mind using the 300 AR too so we'll see what what we find As you can probably see, we are not standing above some caribou ready to claim them, but um, I'm not planning on sort of claiming every every animal or recording me claim every animal this for this hunt just because of the amount of animals I'm planning on sort of shooting. So get the dog to retrieve this for us. That will not be happening apparently. Now it is our little female goose and we can get it keep going and try and find a herd of bison since it's bison drink time. Alright, well we have something for our 300 AR. Of a herd of bison out here, so we need to keep on waiting. Doesn't look like they're going to want to present a shot, so we'll go for this one. Well, we were going to go for that one and then sort of cycle through and get as many as possible. shot into him at least. <sighs> Look like we're gonna get many more. Oh we didn't hit the shot on her. That'll do it. <clears throat> How many we kill? I think hopefully three of them. That one female and then a couple of males. Alright, well I thought I'd show this guy just sort of a bit of an example of how this gun can just be used to keep shooting them until they fall over. As of such, that one we hit I think four or five times 
this whilst he was running away and then this one was just one perfect shot. They both died about the same distance, which is pretty funny. Anyway, keep on looking. Oh, there's something through there. Just a female moose. See if we can get a brain shot. That would be a no. But it might fast travel away and check a couple of these little lakes around here. Alright, something tells me that the zones are about to de be deleted and barrels are about to get very hot. We will chuck an extra couple of bullets in here. We are in a tower and we'll start with this level four and just sort of shoot whatever the crosshairs line up on. I think that was four shots hit on that first sort of lot. As you can see, I am sort of just flinging lead at this point, not... Not really... Aiming... That much. Because, just trying to get... Kills, and... I know one bison's floating over to us, so I guess we'll claim him when he gets here. And I don't know how many others we killed, but we shot a fair few bullets. I will put up on the screen how many we shot. And I think we hit a fair few of them too, so it be interesting to see what respawns we get from that. Anyway, I'll wait for this guy to float over. Alright, well, since I am a really good YouTuber, I definitely did press record when we claimed that bison. Anyway, we have a few more here. So quite a few more. Never checked this lake before. Anyway, we will continue doing what I think the... That is very black. Ah, just a head. We will get you to sit so that you don't give us any problems. And these three here will be our first. First subjects as of such. I think we got all three of them. As sort of shooting as you can probably easily tell both males and females just because I'm pretty sure they both have rares and um this is just I don't know might as well shoot them both and I am deleting or well, not that zone but I uh, am not sort of focusing on zones as of such. That there was a really cool shot. Just to drop that 300 bullets straight into his skull and he did not go far at all. This one. Seemed like he was taught how to die. Yeah, there we go. Well, I'm sure you can tell that this is not, 
from uh, Yukon Valley anymore, you can also probably tell that it is been a while since I recorded last. A um, couple of weeks actually since I've been away doing work. So, anyway, we're back out here and these are actually the main animals I'm after is these pronghorn along with everything else here but the pronghorn do hold a little bit of fancy because they have a new class that being they're now class three so we can find somewhere where we can see this guy we might just try and pop him with the 223 i'm hoping that that would have been a good shot um, i'm hoping that that would have been a good shot Great, all right, that's a good start to the... It's a good start to the hunt. Let's see. got the fall off in. Anyway, I'm just going to run around here on Silverish Peaks. We'll try and get a couple more kills. Hopefully find a actual herd of pronghorn. And yeah, I don't know. See what we discover. Take two. Chuck the Hyperion on. So. Is that this way? So if we change to, oh what? Well. Okay, my bad. Let's see. I guess we'll just sort of s swoop's not the right word, but swing through these guys and try and hit as many as possible. Um, we'll start. Oh, that was my dog. Start this level three when it puts us. I uh, actually will go for the build somewhere. Not so far back. And finish this guy off. This is the one that we just sort of neck shot and then spinal cord also. A little level two. We did get vitals on at least one more of these, so we'll track him down next. Alright, well I do want to point point out as we're coming up on this guy, we are only getting a low bleed rate. Which will probably make bit more sense when we pick this guy up and see what the shot was. It's a little bit quartering, but probably as bad as about as good as you can get. Didn't hit the shoulder blade or anything. And that 223 bullet really struggled to bring that guy down quickly. Anyway, I'm going to um, try and shoot some with the 10 mil I think. And then might head up into the mountains to find something all right well we've closed the distance down here you can see our bison all the 50 meters away hopefully one of them decides to give us a bit of a show as of such and then up here we've got all our oh that would sort them out no, all of our pronghorn so I'm thinking 
get him to sit. I'm thinking sort of smack this guy. Might change radicals real quick. Uh, thinking I'll shoot that further. Level four. And then we will see what we do from there as far as just sort of shooting whatever presents a good shot. So this is going to be a fairly difficult shot for the pistol. Alright, well I've definitely shot at them. We will do that. And then I guess we might as well go down and get see where we hit this guy. Because, I mean, 308 AR is good, but not normally that good. Well, there's actually a fair few bison down there. Only one. Only one level 3 though, so... Two try and quickly shoot him if I can do something like that and then like that I won't harvest those guys they're just sort of bonus kills you could say anyway here's our bison Beautiful brain shot on the run. Literally as good as you can get out of that 300 round. Now, we do have a bit of hunting pressure here, so we also, the zones should be starting to end, so we'll see how we go. Alright, well, first thing, these guys are coming back. Second thing, I thought I'd mention lock is actually getting better kill time mind you that might be the spinal cord that helped with that we will actually wouldn't mind trying to hit this one with that sort of double lung spine shot if we can and I don't think we actually got any more of those guys that I could find That should be double lung spine. He's starting to go down. That should be probably just spine. Anyway, hunting pressure did seem to indicate that maybe we got a second one, but I wasn't able to find any more blood, so I guess We'll see if we come across one on the way to track down this pronghorn that we shot with the 223. Alright, well, we've got a medium blood trail on this guy too. Excuse her, I want respawns. We did get a medium blood trail on this guy, which was pretty cool out of the 2 to 3. And that was with exact same shot, however, about 100 metres further. Oh. We have ourselves an elk broadside at nearly 300, 430 metres, so let's test out how this beautiful AR 300 does at long range, so we're testing out both the 300 bullet and the AR variant, although we do know that the 300 can perform because we've obviously done that many a time with the bolt action version. We will lop a 22 bullet down there too and just sort of whoop, and try and get a broadside shot and then I'm not thinking we'll need that much drop, but we'll probably hold about half an inch above his back and see what happens. I mean, we could just take. 
take that there, but we won't do that. <coughs> I guess the other option is we try and get a double from 400 meters. That could be reasonably cool. So, ooh, it's like he's going to give us a really good angle, and then we'll try and get him with the follow-up. Wait for everything to settle down. That was so close. I literally missed that. What was it like? Just because he turned, I missed that other shot. Ooh, there are more elk here. I guess a second go at getting a double at 400. It will be. This should be even better. It's a bit closer to 300. Make it a little bit easier. That's a pain. I think we dropped him though. Alright, here's one of our deer. Ho 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 ho. That is shot and a half. That 300 bullet mustn't be dropping pretty much at all, which is why we must have glanced straight over the top of that other one. I'll show you the instant replay now. And you could probably tell that we were aiming a little bit too high. Anyway, I think that'll do us for today. Thank you for watching and thank you to everyone who watched my previous video because it was my first video to get over 1,000 views. So thank you for helping me achieve that goal and please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.